All right, hey everybody, I want to bring you a video about the story of the BMSs. Now, I just brought my Power Queen battery back in here, and man, let me tell you what, this ran a solar pump all freaking night. Almost got my 2,000 gallon tank full of water. So, if you want a hell of a battery, man, I'll put a link to it. It is a badass battery. And you guys that have sent me the buy me a coffee, let me tell you what I did. I have taken it and I have invested it one of the items we're about to discuss right now so if you see this link right here go ahead if you want to do that or join the little membership thing i've set up and i'll be able to help you guys as i can but i took some of the money and i ordered this and i want to show you in this video what you're going to see this will save you a lot of pain and it's going to direct you to something that'll save you a lot of money so let's go Hey everybody, I'm going to bring you a video called Beware of the BMS. Now, I have ordered a BMS to put in the Chins battery. Now, this is, this is supposedly a 180 amp, right there, Helltech BMS. Now, I want you to look at this purplish colored copper that's on this. Now, I don't ever see that. Um, it's not a film. And then I want you to look at this. This is a most important feature. And I'm going to compare this $16, $17 one to this $40 one to this one that came in the Chins battery. Now, the Chins battery had a failure from the start, and it's a JDV. This is a Helltech. And then this one here is a BLS or whatever, BMS. But I want you to look here carefully. Now, you'll notice there's the fats on this side. And then, like, like most of them, they'll have a plate and they'll have fets on the other side. Now, I want to remind you, this is a 180 amp BMS with a 100 amp charge. But here's where your surprise comes in. Now, I don't know about you, but what in the hell is a second plate for other than to defraud you? There's no purpose of a second plate. None. You see that right there? There's where there should be a whole row of FETs right here. But instead, it's that. So this is Helltech. And look how small these are compared to these. These are about probably 5-10% bigger FETs. But they're tiny. They use that sticky heat sink, which I'll, I'll tell you now, it's convenient it's any better so this is the product right here okay 180 amp 4s and this is the wires they sent which i don't really like that they're all red that's fine you can physically track them back but it helps to have them different colors like this one his over here so i'm going to put a link to this one this is a 100 amp and it's proven to handle it like no question whatsoever. I put these on those recovered batteries. I wouldn't want to put this on an 80 amp battery. Not with this half-ass way of doing this. And that. And then look at the copper. That is the lowest quality copper. And in fact, let me grab my magnet. There's a magnet. It doesn't want to grab, but it, you can feel it grabbing. So that's not pure copper. See, it gets hung on it. So this is so-called Helltech from the Helltech store. Look at the picture. This is the store it came from on AliExpress. And they also sell on eBay. And they also sell on Amazon. So when you see this brand name of Helltech, which is used to be a year ago top-notch stuff and there's a lot of them that's in that category they were top top-notch you you tell me this 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 one here doesn't have to have a plate on both sides because it doesn't it's not claiming to be 180 amp in fact this one here i love this feature in this one is it uses the liquid paste for its thermal conductivity but i want to show you this also this is a hundred amp 
And they refer to these MOSFETs often as tubes, but we're going to call it MOSFETs. Um, this is a 100 amp. Look at their size. Okay, now look at this. I'll do the math for you. You don't have to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 20. This one here for under $20 is 20 MOSFETs. This one is, should have been 32 to be 180. Now, we'll get over here and do a little shopping comparison. This one here is the one, the JDB, that came off of the, uh, the, the battery that went bad. So here it sets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. And then we're going to go over to the other side. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. So this one here has, it's a 100 amp also. This one here has twice, more than twice the fats this does. So this so-called Helltech is not, under no circumstances would I, would I run 180 amps through that unless I want to fire. And this company out of AliExpress is ripping people off. So if you buy something the Helltech brand, you better check it. You better check it. They're throwing an extra plate on this. So that you, when you look in the in the ad, you see this. Look at that, just just a piece of fucking aluminum. They throw an extra plate on that, but that's really what's inside. And don't tell me they didn't know that it didn't have its fets. Well, when we saw we we ship it not have fets. Uh, no, dickhead, you put that in there. You knew what you did when you did that. So when I got this, I looked on both sides of it to make sure it had everything for soldering this. I'm like, wait a minute, what's that big gap in there? Well, there it is right there in front of your face. So I'm going to recommend without a doubt, and this one's really cool. I'm going to recommend it. It has five little lights that will light up, and they'll kind of go back and forth as they balance. And look at that load, nice big heavy load of resistors. This over here, I just noticed it's got basically almost none. It's got one-third of the resistors for balancing your load. This one here has just an ass load. Okay, see that? So, um, Helltech, see that right there? Helltech BMS, Battery Management System. You were about as accurate as being 180 amp, basically, as my little Toyota is about as typical as having 10,000 horsepower. Not buying your load. Y'all want a good one? These are proving their worth, and they're only and they're under twenty bucks. And look how they even did it. Look at this right here. This is just this is you don't see this. You see how that is? Those are fused. You see. And this is a proper heat sink. This is too high of density of aluminum. This heat sink here's a little softer metal, so it'll actually really sink out the heat. And I would put my I'd put my uh, gamble on this for actually being able to handle 100 amps without a question. This one here, I don't think 180 amps would even want to get close to that. This one here, it was made, it's actually a 120. Okay, so it's a 120, but we did figure out what failed in it. And it is that processor chip right there failed in it. It's got no power on, on pin six. And if I can order one, I would, but you can't even get a number off of it. But we know pin six is the power line because it runs back to the positive lead in here um, after two two diodes it runs back to it but probably a good one jdb or whatever jbd or whatever this one here helltech total garbage um i'm gonna tell them give my money back and we're not going to be nice to them about it i wouldn't piss on that they owe me my money back do not buy helltech products and this is like i said from the helltech store itself crap all right y'all be good